The flagship Korean company Samsung's flagship smartphone Galaxy Note 20 Ultra has been introduced in the market. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. But even before launching, a big thing has been revealed about the camera of the smartphone. The rear panel of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 smartphone has been claimed to have a triple camera setup with a lens capable of 360-degree rotation. Meaning this camera can be a 360-degree field of view. Till now, a separate panorama mode was used for 360-degree images in the smartphone. However, panorama mode blurred the photo on many occasions, which can be easily overcome in the new 360-degree view of Samsung. According to the tech website, a flat display has been made available in the Samsung Galaxy Note 20. Triple camera setup can be provided in the square of edge on the rear panel of the phone. A punch hole display will be given in the front. The company has said in another claim that powerful and improvised hardware can be made available in Samsung Galaxy. There has been talk of getting Snapdragon 865 Plus processor. The retail side of Vietnam has revealed the price of the upcoming Galaxy Note 20 smartphone. According to the post made on Twitter from the website, the Galaxy Note 20 will be introduced in three variants. The price of Galaxy Note 20 will be $992. The price of Galaxy Note 20 Ultra variant has been claimed to be $1121, while the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G phone has a price of $1300. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 has just about been confirmed to launch on August 5, alongside the most recent choices within the Galaxy Note lineup. The South Korean Big took to social media to unveil its up-to-date butterfly emblem, used for the Galaxy Fold sequence, revealing that the launch would happen on the online Galaxy Unpacked occasion on the date. Samsung can be anticipated to launch the Galaxy Z Flip 5G and the Galaxy Note 20 sequence on the event. Several specs of the upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 2 had been tipped earlier this month, together with rumors that the telephone might not launch on the day due to saw Samsung took to Twitter to post a teaser video, the place it revealed the up-to-date butterfly emblem which it used on the primary Galaxy Fold. Samsung revealed the launch date, August 5, on the publish, with the caption, and new look unfolds. The new emblem was revealed within the mystic bronze color, which in accordance to a report by Phonarena, is likely one of the color choices on the Galaxy Fold successor, and can be anticipated to be provided down the refresh rate to 60Hz. Just like the Galaxy S20, Genie says the Note 20 Ultra that he has is on a pre-release software. So there is a possibility that Samsung may add the support for quantity plus at 120Hz in the final retail furniture, and you maybe have Life's website, it looks exactly like your renders. We saw a few weeks ago. Not only that, but we also have the official press renderers of the Galaxy, but it's been sweet as one of the weirdest wearables I've seen so far, Samsung will operate in three color variants, including that metallic bronze piece will have active noise cancellation, something they don't have on the Galaxy box, plus rumor prize for this is $150 cheaper than the Buts Plus course, without being sad for all the latest update joy and exceptional smartphone experience matron smartphones are getting better, as the segment saw some major technological leaps, resulting in mid-tier phones that feel less every bit as capable as modern fractures, as top and phone prices continues to creep up the mid-tier is more appealing than ever. This is especially true for Samsung's mid-range phones, the past 18 months or so. Samsung's mid-range phones such as the Galaxy A-Series and M-Series have gotten significantly better speaking of the M-Series soon it will get a new member successor to, the authority the Galaxy and 41 have come across details about the battery that appears to belong to the Galaxy and 41 thing on the Galaxy and 41 yes 7000. The rated capacity mentioned here is 68 like water carpet, cleaning system, and more eats up a lot of space inside the flagships, and hence they can put crazy better numbers like this without inviting sex anyway. The Galaxy N41 will be a based company, which is TCL's China startup to electronics technology wonder why would they even do that when they have their own display division which happens to be the best in the world well to lure the component, because it may sound a bit weird, but Samsung Mobile and Samsung Display are sister companies, which means Samsung Mobile is still bidding on the system, affirms components like any other OEM out there to sourcing displays from a Chinese OEM, is bound to improve its profit margins, although not by much, but every little bit helps. In the entry-level price range for Android smartphones, a fiercely contested segment and virtually all parts of the world's profitability is debatable at best part from the battery. Not much else is known about the handset, except the screen sizes can be 6.7 inches flash D+, and interestingly, there are some Catholics a few months ago that showed the potential, design of the handset was like his predecessor, the Galaxy, and 41 will have, a poncho cut out the left and a bigger camera module on the back. What remains to be seen as if Samsung has plans to launch this in the near future, but with an appearance on safety couriers to see tech. Please consider subscribing.
As we are back with the Galaxy Note 20 news last time we talked about the official look at the Note 20 Ultra it is, by the way, still live on Samsung's website. According to Mac everything will be on point as can have 5G it's got a lot to give you at that price. But out to take those prices with a pinch of salt, because we just start note that the real price is also when it comes to grid prices, they can be different to other European prices, definitely different to American US UK prices as well. But now we have one of the world's most now Samsung, the kid's trying in with what he thinks the next 20 cost 999 bucks for the Galaxy is 20, which just seems kind of expensive. We were hoping with the lower storage options. Also, the flat display which is cheaper for Samsung to implement that they would therefore be able to give us a more affordable price. Also the screen, not just flat out a full HD screen, not a cord actually screen and a 60Hz again. Yes, we have almost confirmed League stating that Sensing is still bringing Exodus 990, the most hated processor on the planet, when the Galaxy Note 20 models. If you're watching this video from United States South Korea, Canada or even China. Congratulations because you're going to get the best of the best disease Snapdragon a 65 plus you are Samsung special child, but rest of us from UK your India and other regions, ready to get the worst, which is the Exodus 990, and there was a big hole for the Exodus 990, do I mean Samsung going with Savic in a 65 plus in the US, it makes sense for them to up their game, and we know Samsung does learn from their mistake, but I guess not this time, because it is still coming with the Exynos 990 chair couple months ago, when this whole chair page started, Samsung actually actually gave their official response regarding this whole situation, and according to them, what processors were tested in the lab, the same kind of performance test standard. They were equal, but that's actually not the case. One of the big problems with the Exodus 990 chair is that it throttles. If you have problems with the Exodus 990 chair is that it throttles. If you are a gamer was going to play games for longer period of time. If you play Bob G or any other game. The Exodus 990 will start with throttle, is also not utilizing the latest ARM cores, instead is using Samsung's own Mangel's core, which Samsung has actually quit, and they're not really using it for the Exodus 1000, but this is what they did, and it's a big mistake, and which is why the CPU gains are not as much of the snapping as 65, maybe Samsung has fixed the chortling problem, or they have done some overclocking to match the performers with the Snapdragon, a 65 vs 5 plus we don't know now I have used the Exodus 990 for a couple of months on the S20 Ultra. Ultra, and is fine if you're not a gamer, if you don't really care about long hours gaming sessions. I'm not a smartphone gamers. So for me it is still a very smooth fast experience, and not really faced any issue with battery, but still this is a phone with an inferior chair, and there is a better version of the stone out there in a certain region, and that alone is a major reason to be solve a lot of people paying dog dollars for inferior, and that alone is a major it's undefendable said the Exodus 990 comes out with the same kind of configuration as it has on the S20 devices, that I'm pretty sure that a lot of people will be buying the Galaxy Note 20 phones, now all of our phones will still be coming. It's Snapdragon processor, so anyone going for the Galaxy C42 should not be buried. But this is what it is and is can be really bad for Samsung. I'm just really sad. Honestly, even at Samsung fixing the trolling issues. It is still an inferior product that is using different custom cores that are made by Samsung, and is starting to be as good as stabbing a 65 plus, or even caulking a 65 chip certain international market. I think it's very very unfair for Samsung fans probably be better spending that money on one, plus a pro or find extra pro which by the way, is my very phone and my current camera phone right now 4040B at 120Hz plugs of RAM, 60s base consume 5 to achieving your memory grows fast, is why charging I mean this phone really sounds your memory grows fast, is why charging I mean this phone really sounds to me like a proper ultra phone tag, and I'll still be doing my coverage in the Note 20 Ultra, and most likely, I will be able to get the car conversion, because it's really hard because these are just for specific markets if you are living in those regions consider yourself lucky and again i'm sorry we had this build up of news for the exodus 990 do an assault just a disappointment if samsung really is doing that is that this should bring the price down for the exodus 990 models in the certain regions i guess that would be okay but i know a lot of people are still the man and that's highly unlikely considering samsung still thinks that this chip is almost as good as the a65 x65 plus i could just wait for the exodus by nanometer and the chair of next year i mean let me know your thoughts the samsung international user should do in this case scenario and guess you don't know august 5 is the date for the official announcement i hope we see some miracle in the coming days but yeah very disappointing in the drop your thoughts in the comment below and please subscribe, like the video, in the drop your thoughts in the comment below and please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one peace out.